Honey Comb Textbook in English for class 7 page number 85 chapter 6 before you read Nishad a boy of 7 also called 7 because his name means seventh note on the musical scale and his 10 years old sister Maya are very curious about one Mr Nath Then one day the children's marble rolls into Mr Nath's room and Nishad gets a chance to see him is he a crook on the run why is his face badly scarred why has he no friends Nishad's mother a doctor knows Mr Nath as a patient who is very polite expert detectives as we walked back towards the clinic Seven said, "He doesn't look anything like a monster, Maya. But did you see how thin he is? Maybe he's very poor and can't afford to eat. He can't be poor if he's a crook on the run." I told him, "He's probably got million of rupees stashed away somewhere in that room. Do you really think he's a criminal, Maya? He doesn't look like one." Nishat looked doubtful. Of course he's one. Seven, I said. And he certainly isn't starving. Mr. Mehta told us that Ramesh brings his meals up from the restaurant downstairs. Word meanings stashed away means hidden away. Page number 86. But Maya, Mr. Mehta told us he doesn't work anywhere. So how can he possibly have money to pay for the food? Nishat said. Exactly, I exclaimed. He must have lots of money hidden somewhere, maybe in that trunk in his room. It's probably full of silver and gold and jewels and what rubbish! Nishad interrupted. I know I'm right, stupid. I told him. By the way, seven. Did you see his scars? I couldn't. It was too dark. But I bet he got them during a shoot out with the police or something. Mummy told us quite clearly they were burn scars Nishat said firmly page 87 perhaps the police has set his house on fire to force him out i suggested seven looked unsure on the monday following mama's birthday seven went alone with her to clinic at girgaum as i was spending the evening with a school friend when they returned nishad told me he would been to mr nath and i felt most annoyed that i hadn't been there seven had been quite upset about mr nath's gaunt appearance and was sure that he was starving he told me that he had knocked loudly on mr nath's door that evening and said open the door quickly mr nath the man had opened it and asked him lost another marble he had obviously recognized my brother no said nishat he had taken the man's hand in his own and thrust a bar of chocolate into it did you get a chance to peek into the trunk seven i asked nishat looked disappointed he didn't even ask me in he said then he smiled but i did find out something Maya I went down to the restaurant where Ramesh works and talked to him Good for you Mr detective I said patting him on the back I hope you questioned him properly Seven looked pleased Ramesh told me that he takes two meals for Mr Nath every morning and evening and two cups of tea one in the morning and one in the afternoon Word meanings following means coming after gaunt means sickly peak means look quickly and secretively page number 88 ramesh says he is not very particular about what he eats it's always the same food two chapatis some dal and a vegetable mr nath pays cash and tips well ramesh told me something very strange maya seven added almost every sunday he carries two lunches to mr nath's room and the same man is with him each time 
He's tall, fair, stout and wears spectacles. Ramesh says his visitor talks a lot, unlike Mr. Nath who hardly speaks. Well done, Nishat, I told him. Now that we have made some progress with our inquiries, we'll have to sort out all the facts like expert detectives so that we can trap the crook. How you do go on, Maya? Seven sight. How can you possibly imagine he's a crook? He looks so ordinary. Criminals can look quite ordinary, smarty, I retorted. Did you see the picture of Hyderabadi housebreaker in the paper yesterday? He looked like any man on the street. Nishad looked doubtful. The monsoon broke the next day. Dark clouds accompanied by blinding flashes of lightning and roaring rolls of thunder burst with all their furry flooding the streets with a heavy downpour. Schools was to have reopened after the summer holidays, but no traffic would move through the flooded roads and there was an unexpected holiday. I thought I would spend the time usefully. I sat at my desk in our bedroom with a sheet of paper before me. Word meanings Tips well means gives a generous tip, money in thanks for a services. Sort out means Arrange systematically. Crook means criminal. Informal. Page number 89. Comprehension check. Question 1. What did Nishat give Mr. Nath? Why? Question number 2. What is strange about Mr. Nath's Sundays? Question number 3. Why did Nishat and Maya get a holiday? I wrote in large block letters. Catching a crook. Expert detectives Nishad and Maya Pandit by appointment to the whole world. Then I began writing. About half an hour later, I turned towards Seven who was lying on his tummy, chin cubed in his palms, reading comics. Want to hear what I have written? I asked. Word meanings? By appointment, to means officially chosen by someone important. Page number 90. I looked up questioningly. I have listed all the facts we know about Mr. Nath, which might help us to trap him, I said. Want to hear? Seven nodded. Fact number one. I read, his name is Mr. Nath. We must discover his first name. Do you think that's his real name, Maya? Nishat asked. Probably not, I said. Most crooks have an alias. I added a big question mark after Nath. Fact number two. I read on the tenants at Shankar House say he's mad, strange and unfriendly. Number three. He doesn't talk to anyone and is mannerless. But he did talk to us, Maya and Mama says. He is very polite, Nishad interrupted. He only talked to us because he had to, I said. And since he was under Mama's medical treatment, he had to be polite. Fact number four. He doesn't receive any letters. Seven noted. Number 5. He's been living in room 10 of Shankar house for more than a year. I continued. Number 6. He doesn't work and sit in his room all day. Number 7. The kids in Shankar house and even some of the grown-ups are scared of him. Number 8. He has no visitors except for spectacled, fair, fat man who visits him on Sundays for lunch. Number 9. Food and tea are taken to his room by Ramesh from the restaurant downstairs. Word meanings? Alias. An alternate name. Page number 91. He doesn't care what he eats, pays his bills immediately and tips well. That ends my list. Have I forgotten anything, Seven? Nishad had obviously not been paying too much attention to my list of facts. All he could say was, 
poor man, Maya. He must be so lonely if he doesn't have any friends. How can a crook have friends, idiot? I almost shouted. At least he has one friend, the one who meets him on Sundays, said Nishant. A brilliant thought occurred to me just then. That man must be Mr. Nath's accomplice in crime, I said. Maybe he keeps all the loot and he comes now and then to give part of it to his partner, Mr. Nath, for expenses. That's it. I am sure I am right. If you insist on calling him a criminal, I don't think I want to discuss anything with you, Maya, said Nishant angrily. He can't be such a bad man if he gives Ramesh such generous tips. Ramesh probably knows something about his past, so Mr. Nath must be bribing him to keep quiet, I said. Nishad glared at me with his arms tightly crossed across his chest. I was beginning to get fed up with him. How can we make any progress with our investigation if you take that attitude, Seven? I asked. I'll cooperate only if you give up this idea about him being an escaped crook, said Seven. You really make me angry. I almost hit him. I make you angry, you stupid. Off, I shouted. You make me mad. What is the point of all these inquiries if he's not a crook? Word meanings? A complice means a helper in crime. Page 92 if you think he's nobody, what's the idea of bothering him about? Please tell me. Nishad looked thoughtful. I would like to find out why he's so thin and why he's so lonely. I want to know why he doesn't have any friend and lives alone. Try to understand, Seven. I told him if he's lived in Shankar house for a year and hasn't made a single friend, there is something wrong. He's obviously scared that someone will recognize him and give him up to the cops. Maybe no one's tried to make friends with him, Nishad protested. Why should anyone bother? You have seen what a nasty bear he is, I said. I don't care, said Nishant stubbornly. I like him and I'm going to try and be his friend. Friends with a crook? Ha! You are crazy, Seven, I said. The cops will take you to the jail with him. Do you want that to happen, you idiot? Nishad merely glared at me and quietly walked out of the room. My theory seemed to have made no impression on him at all. Page 93. Working with the text. Question number 1. What does Nishad find out about Mr. Nath from Ramesh? Arrange the information as suggested below. What he eats. When he eats what he drinks and when, how he pays. Question number two. Why does Maya think Mr. Nath is a crook? Who does she say the Sunday visitor is? Question number three. Does Nishad agree with Maya about Mr. Nath? How does he feel about him? Working with language. One, the word tip has only three letters with many meanings. Match the word with its meanings below. Left side, first, fingertips. Second, the tip of your nose. Third, tip the water out of the bucket. Fourth, have something on the tip of your tongue. Fifth, tip the boat over. Sixth, tip him a rupee. Seventh, the tip of the bat. Eighth, the police were tipped off. Ninth, if you take my tip. Tenth, the bat tipped the ball. Right side. First, be about to say something. Second, make the boat overturn. Third, the ends of one's fingers. Fourth, give a rupee to him. To thank him. Fifth, empty a bucket by tilting it. Sixth, the pointed end of your nose. Seventh, if you take this advice. Eighth, the bat lightly touched the ball. 
ninth the end of the bat tenth the police were told or warned page number 94 second the words helper companion partner and accomplice have very similar meaning but each word is typically used in certain phrases can you fill in the blanks below with the most commonly used words a dictionary may help you first business dash second my dash on the journey third i am mother's little dash fourth a faithful dash such a dog fifth the thief's dash sixth find a good dash seventh tennis golf bridge dash eighth his dash in his criminal activities third now let us look at the uses of the word break match the words with its meaning below try to find at least three other ways in which to use the word left side first the storm broke second day break third his voice is beginning to break fourth her voice broke and she cried fifth the heat wave broke sixth broke the bad news seventh break a strike eighth find your own expression give its meaning here right side first could not speak was too sad to speak second this kind of weather ended third it began or burst into activity fourth the beginning of the daylight fifth changing as he grows up sixth end it by making the workers submit seventh gently told someone the bad news page 95 speaking first play detectives with each other find a person in your class or some other acquaintance to speak to find out the answers to the questions given below Be careful to ask your questions in a polite and inoffensive way. Do not force the person to answer you. Then allow the person to ask you the same questions. First, name. Second, what newspapers or magazines the person read. Third, how long has the person lived at the current address? Fourth, what does she he do during the day that is the daily routine fifth what do neighbors and friends say about the person sixth who are his her visitors and what are his her eating habits you can ask a few others about this seventh what do you think about the person writing first What do you think Mr Nath is? Write a paragraph or two about him. Second, what else do you think Nishad and Maya will find out about him? How will they ever be friends? Think about these questions and write a paragraph or two to continue the story. Third, conduct a survey. Nishad, have you ever conducted a survey? Say yes. No or I don't know. Maya Yes no or I don't know page 96 Step 1 study the following questionnaire and discuss the points in small groups A home is a place where you feel secure and happy Yes no don't know You can be alone Yes no don't know You can keep all your things. Yes, no, don't know. You can bring up a family. Yes, no, don't know. You can invite friends, relatives. Yes, no, 
डोंट नो यू कैन मेक नॉइस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू येस नो डोंट नो यू कैन डू वॉट एवर यू लाइक येस नो डोंट नो यू आर एट पीस येस नो डोंट नो यू कैन लुक आफ्टर योर पेरेंट्स येस नो डोंट नो यू रिसीव एंड गिव लव येस नो डोंट नो स्टेप टू कलेक्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन कॉन्टैक्ट पीपल इन द स्कूल योर लोकैलिटी एंड पुट दीज क्वेश्चन टू दैम टिक मार्क देयर आंसर्स इन द रेलिवेंट कॉलम स्टेप थ्री एनालाइज द रिजल्ट इन द ग्रुप बाय आस्किंग हाउ मेनी पीपल थिंक दैट अ होम इज अ प्लेस वेर यू फील सिक्योर एंड हैप्पी हाउ मेनी पीपल थिंक दैट अ होम इज इंट अ प्लेस वेर यू फील सिक्योर एंड हैप्पी हाउ मेनी पीपल डोंट नो अबाउट इट स्टेप फोर present a brief oral report on the result of your survey use phrases such as following most people think that few people think that hardly anyone thinks that no one thinks that honeycomb you were just listening to this audio book production assistance meenakshi kukreti and jagbandhu jana recorded by Batilang Lingdo Technical Assistance Soumya Malik Produced by Ajit Horo and presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi India